More breaking news tonight after author Salman Rushdie was attacked at an event in New York today. According to New York Times interview with his agent, Rushdie is currently on a ventilator and will likely lose an eye. He also suffered damage to his arm and liver. This comes after he was stabbed at least twice today before giving a lecture in western New York. Authorities have now identified the suspect of the attack as a 24-year-old from New Jersey. CNN's Shimon Prokopes tonight has details. Famed author Salman Rushdie was scheduled to speak at a lecture series at the Chautauqua Institution when witnesses say a man jumped onto the stage just as the event was getting underway and began punching and stabbing Rushdie. One witness tells CNN she counted roughly seven to ten stabbing motions before fleeing for her own safety. Rushdie suffered stab wounds to the neck and abdomen, according to New York State Police, and was airlifted to an area hospital. It was a state police officer who stood up and saved his life, protected him, as well as the monitor, the, uh, the moderator who was attacked as well. The suspect was quickly taken into custody. New York State Police identified him as 24-year-old Hadi Matar. There was a lot of screaming and crying and everything. Um, people rushing from the audience up on the stage. The 75-year-old author was born in Mumbai and later moved to the UK. Rushdie is accustomed to living under threat. His controversial fourth novel, The Satanic Verses, published in 1988, sparked public demonstrations all over the world. Some Muslims consider the book sacrilegious. In 1989, the late Iranian leader Ayatollah Rahola Khomeini issued a fatwa, a religious decree on Rushdie, calling for his death. Rushdie lived under British protection for nearly 10 years before the Iranian government announced it would no longer enforce the fatwa. Rushdie wrote a memoir about that era of his life called Joseph Anton, the name he used while in hiding. He has been outspoken over the years about living through that time. Best way that I can, what I can do to fight this, um, is to show that, you know, in the way that a child shows a bully in the playground, I ain't scared of you, you know. Um, and the best thing I can do is to go on being the best writer I can be and to lead as open a professional and personal life as I, as I can. And that's it's just a way of saying, that there may be this danger and it's a terrible thing and it's an ugly thing and we need to fight it and we need to defeat it, but we don't have to hide under the bed. And Anderson, the FBI has now joined this investigation. They're working with local police and the state police here in New York, really trying to sort out if this was part of some bigger plot uh, to assassinate him. It's really concerning. This sounds like a really, really, really brutal attack brazen in the way it was done and so certainly has authorities all over really all over the world right now concerned as to what really was behind here we still have a lot to learn the suspect left behind a backpack authorities are waiting for a search warrant uh, to get some of those contents out and figure out what's in there and we also have learned that the fbi as well as local police are at his home the suspect's home in new jersey as they really try to figure out exactly what was behind all this anderson yeah.